Okay, so yesterday I made uh, creamy ham and potatoes, and someone asked if I could do a video. Well, the problem is Joel's at work, and I'm not, which is why I'm the one cooking. And it really makes things kind of difficult to take a video, but I figure it's kind of like the best of both worlds. You guys get a video, and I don't have to get in front of the camera, so it all works out for me. So I'm going to attempt to do this video uh, on slow-cooked corn chowder today. I've got everything laid out here in front of me that I think I should need. Of course, you'll notice the cat's missing. Mary suggested that maybe I could just put the camera on the cat since she's always on the... Oh, there she is. But she's, she's not on the stove today. So anyway, I can't really tie the camera to the cat, so I'm just I'm going to do the best that I can with what I've got here. Everything that you see in front of you just goes in the crock pot, and then the crock pot gets turned on low for six hours. So... You would think, theoretically, even I couldn't screw this up, but it's possible. So I'm just going to go through in the order that the recipe suggests. There's the recipe there. Uh, and, and everything will go into the slow cooker in that order. So we're going to start with uh, two and a half cups of 2% milk. This is, in fact, 2% milk, and I measured it, so it should be two and a half cups. The fun part is going to be at some point I'm going to try to pour something in here and I'm going to miss completely. All right, so that's two and a half cups of 2% milk, one can of cream style corn. Here it is. There it goes. Hope that it all comes out. It's pretty close. I'll put the rest of it in later. For the sake of the video, we'll just say it's all in there. <clears throat> one can of Cream of mushroom soup. Yeah, this may not come out all like it's supposed to, but we'll we'll try. So there we go. One can cream of mushroom soup. And again, I'll get the rest of that out after the video is done. Uh, one and three quarter cups of frozen corn. So this should get exciting. All right, here's the cup. Here's the frozen corn. Let's see how much of it we can get on the counter. Oh, there you go, Brutus. Have some corn. Now that looks to be about three quarters of a cup, so we'll throw that in. And then I need another whole cup. Hold on, gotta be smarter. <laughs> I'm on spring break, so being smarter is probably not gonna happen. <clears throat> That's okay. Uh, you know, food normally ends up in the utensil drawer. It's perfectly all right. So there's another cup. Got to find it. There we go. Another cup of corn. That goes in. All right, let me just get these little kernels up off the counter here. You don't see this one. There we go. All right, um, one cup frozen shredded hash brown potatoes. See, I try and say that even once fast. Um, I didn't have any frozen, so I just went ahead and shredded a potato. I know it's, it's unheard of, but there you go. So there is one cup of shredded hash brown potato. Not frozen, but that's okay. There we go. Uh, one cup cubed fully cooked ham. Still trying to work through the honey baked. Here's your ham. In it goes. Most of it anyway. There we go. Uh, one large onion chopped. I'm really not... I like onion. I don't like a lot of onion, so I don't think this is really a small or a large onion. This is probably more like a, a medium-sized onion, but I'm making it. Joel isn't, so we're just going to work with it. <coughs> Hush. <sighs> yeah. All right, close enough on the onion. There we go. Then we've got uh, two teaspoons dried parsley flakes. I need both hands for that, so that's just going to go in at the end. Uh, two tablespoons of butter. There's your two tablespoons of butter. In it goes. Uh, and then salt and pepper to taste. I'm not putting any more salt in there. You got ham. You got cream mushroom soup. If you need more salt, well, your heart's not going to thank you for that. So pepper I'll also do uh, at the end here because I really don't want to try and do that with one hand. So... This is going to go 
on low for six hours once I stir it all up and then theoretically I'm gonna have slow cooked corn chowder and uh, I'll let Joel make the decision on whether or not it's any good when he gets home in about six hours. So I came home from work the wife has been cooking as she told you and she made a slow cooker corn chowder. I have a I've already had a bowl of it and some bread that she made but for the sake of of continuity I will pretend I haven't had it before and I'm going to try some right here in front of you, so. It's good. It's good. <laughs> Sorry. No, I could smell the corn as soon as I got home, which was nice to come home to. The, the uh, the potatoes cooked, which is good. Rachel was worried that potatoes are going to be crunchy. But she's right about not adding any extra salt. There's plenty of salt in this right now. But it's really a good soup. I mean, the corn's got a good flavor. The ham's nice in there. We threw a shot of Louisiana hot sauce in when we ate it. And that made it exceptional. So, in her defense, she cooked unsupervised and she did not fuck anything up. So, I'm going to call the slow cooker corn chowder good times and a success.